with warmer temperatures finally here, it's also the time when Minnesotans have to be careful about insect bites. That's true, and it's especially true when it comes to ticks carrying Lyme disease. In today's Health Check Report, Delane Cleveland shows us how one group of people who suffer from Lyme disease are trying to raise awareness about the issue. It's kind of a form of art therapy, I consider it. People are able to express themselves through their art. Art is considered a form of expression. She put a chain around herself and has notes attached to her as to what she's feeling. Depression is a part of Lyme as well. With every piece telling a different story. I would have these dreams about, you know, asking help from my friends and they would kind of turn into these demons and I'd wake up in pools of sweat. Here at the Maple Grove Art Center, each painting and photograph is fundamentally different, yet they're all connected through Lyme disease. We want to get this information out there. We want a voice for the, the people who are afflicted and art is one way to transform that. The exhibit called Ticked Off Art features 30 different artists who either have Lyme disease or know of someone who does. It's like losing a piece of you. Vicki Kager is one of the artists with work on display. My symptoms were joint pain, um, bone pain, um, and memory loss. She says she's had Lyme disease since she was a child. Taking off ticks was like a family event. We'd all stick them in grandma's ashtray. And you know, we don't have canned treatments for people or a pill can't cure this. Lori Link, the executive director of the Arts Center, has Lyme disease as well. I suffer from arthritis, neuritis. Um, I drop things all the time. I have fatigue. Brain fog. With this exhibit, their goal is to begin a dialogue to bring more attention to the tick-borne disease. They're going to see everything from art that is expressive of the person suffering, and they're going to see some beautiful things, too. The disease has had a significant impact on both Vicki and Lori. The key is to get the word out there about the disease and how it can change your life. And they hope this exhibit has a similar impact for those seeking treatment. If our family and friends and community knew how much we were suffering, maybe... More would be done. In Maple Grove, Delane Cleveland, 12 News. The exhibit at the Maple Grove Arts Center goes through May 29th. All proceeds will directly benefit the artists.